Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel and another reaction video. This time we're checking the pitch meeting for Twilight Eclipse. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And this one's gonna be called Eclipse. Oh, sounds like a weird name for a movie. That's not something any rational person would stare at. Well, it's the <laughs> name of the third book, sir. Our hands are tied. Oh, yeah, why, who did this? I don't, I don't have any suspects at the moment, unfortunately, sir. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we track them down soon. So anyway, at the end of the last movie, Edward proposed to Bella, right? That's right, sir, and in this movie, he's gonna do that again. What, did she say no? She says no, sir, and she keeps saying no, because a lot of marriages end in divorce, you know? It's a big commitment. But her main motivation is to be an immortal vampire with him forever, for eternity. That's right, sir. Oh, I feel like that doesn't make any sense. How is this even a conflict? Listen, sir, the story had to be stretched out for money purposes, right? So I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back <laughs> about manufactured, meaningless conflict. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. I do like money purposes. They're the only purposes that matter, sir. Also, in this movie, Jacob's kind of fighting for Bella's love. He wants to be the one she chooses. But didn't the last movie end with him being like, ah, okay, looks like Bella's with Edward now. Oh, my God, that's so weird. Well, what's going on? I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but it kind of feels like you're back on my back about manufactured conflict. Oh, I accidentally got back on that thing, didn't I? I apologize. Thanks, sir. So anyway, in this movie, that red-headed vampire, Victoria, whose face is just completely changed for some reason, is on her way to kill Every Bella because she's obsessed with her. Right, why is that again? Well, she's the main character. Right. So in Seattle, Victoria, she's working on building an army of newborns. Oh, going to war with babies is tight. No, 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 newborns as in people that were just recently turned into vampires. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Alice has a vision that the army's moving towards them, and they're gonna be in Forks, Washington in four days. Four days? Isn't that like a four-hour drive? It is, yeah. Can vampires not drive? No, they could drive. <laughs> I mean, even if they walk, that's a two-day walk. I don't know what to tell you, sir. It's gonna take them four days. They're gonna come out of the water. <laughs> oh, very slow vampires. <laughs> and so since Jasper knows all about newborns, he's gonna lead a kind of training session. Which one was Jasper again? Well, he became a vampire during the Civil War, and he's the youngest of the Cullen clan. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, and so the actor's gonna have to do a southern accent and we're gonna have some flashbacks to him during the Civil War. Do you think it matters that he wasn't at all doing a southern accent in the first two movies? That's no, probably fine. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Any other side characters getting random flashbacks in this thing? Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because Rosalie's gonna get one too. Which one's she again? Well, she's one of the vampires, sir. I'm almost sure of it. <laughs> nice. Anyway, she's telling Bella about how she didn't get to choose to become a vampire. Her life was absolutely perfect and she didn't want to become one. Oh, absolutely perfect, huh? Those are strong words. What was her life like? Like. Well, she was super in love with this guy. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, and then he, you know, assaulted her with a bunch of his friends and left her to die. Oh, my God. Just an absolutely perfect life, you know? That's not, that, that word doesn't mean that. Anyway, then she got turned into a vampire and killed all her assaulters one by one and saved her ex-boyfriend for last and killed him while wearing a wedding dress. Yeah, that actually sounds a whole lot more interesting of a movie than the one we're making. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> do, you, do you think that's a bad sign? No, it's probably fine. Oh, okay, good. Oh, and Bella's also going to be told about some <laughs> werewolf history. Oh, yeah? What did she learn? Well, there was this big fight with the vampires, but this one lady, she saves the last spirit warrior of the tribe by distracting a vampire with her own blood. Oh, smart. Yeah, and so she dies because the way she got blood was to stab herself in the stomach for some reason. Oh, did she not know that other parts of the body have blood in them too? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. So anyway, the vampires are going to get the werewolves to come train with them because everybody's coming together to protect Bella. So a bunch of humans in Seattle are dying and a bunch of vampires and a bunch of werewolves are preparing to die yeah, and coming together despite a rivalry that spans centuries. Right, all that, all that, just for Bella. That's right. <laughs> so, like, like, why? Well, sir, like yeah. I said, she is the main character. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, it's a life and death situation for a bunch yeah, of vampires and werewolves and innocent humans, all because Bella's on the movie poster. That is an important character trait. So anyway, then there's gonna be the big training scene with the vampires and the werewolves. A training scene, huh? What's that like? Well, the vampires push each other around for a couple of hours while the werewolves watch. And that's helpful for everybody? Apparently so. Well, great. Yeah, and then it's time for a fight. Oh, very exciting. I can't wait to see the main characters in some action scenes. Oh, well, actually, the main characters, they're gonna go camping. What? Yeah, they want to get Bella away from the action, and so Jacob goes along to mask her scent, and also Edward's there. And they go camping? They do. They go to the top of a mountain, but you know what happens there? It gets cold. So as the side characters are battling vampires, the main characters are gonna battle, you know, hypothermia. They are, and since Edward is a cold vampire, Jacob is gonna have to cuddle with Bella to keep her warm. I'd sure like to see them fight a vampire army, though. Well, we're gonna have Jacob spoon Bella and make eye contact with <laughs> Edward, which is just as <laughs> 
exciting as a vampire fight, is it though? So anyway, the next morning, Jacob finds uh. out that Bella finally said yes to Edward's marriage proposal, so he's all pissed. Oh, he is. Yeah, he doesn't want to take no for an answer. He's like, I know you love me, you just don't want to admit it. And that's romantic? It sure is, sir. And then he's like, maybe I'll go get myself killed in the fight if you don't choose me. Kind of feels like emotional manipulation. Yeah. Actually, it's romance. If you say so. Then she kisses him, so he stays, then he just leaves anyway. You know, I can't help but feel like this is putting some weird messages out into the world. Yeah, messages of love. Ah. And then we're gonna show some snippets of the fight with the newborns, and then Victoria is gonna find Bella and Edward. Oh, wow, how'd she find them? Well, she could smell Edward, so she tracked them down pretty easily. They went through all that trouble of masking Bella's scent, but Edward's scent was traceable the whole time. That's right, sir. Very dumb protagonists. And then it's time for our frickin' showdown with Victoria. Oh, is it gonna be tough to beat her? We've built this showdown up for three movies. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Bella does the foreshadowy thing we shoved in everybody's faces earlier. And does Bella stab herself in the stomach like that lady did? No, she realizes that her arm also has blood in it, so she cuts that instead of her stomach. Very smart. Yeah, and so then Victoria's <laughs> head just kind of comes off. Oh, yeah, it just kind of comes off, so that's all done. That's that, that, that that's all over with. Just pops right oh, off. Okay. okay, great. And then those evil Volturi vampires, they show up and they're like, guess what? We're gonna be in the next movie. Very ominous. Also, Jacob breaks some bones, which doesn't really affect anything, and that's it. Wow, well, well, it sounds like it's gonna make money. Probably. Kind of makes me sad that there's only one book left to adapt. Yeah, I wish there was a way we could squeeze some extra money out of it. Yep. That is the trope. In this kind of franchise is always squeeze a little bit more money. But yeah, this really does seem like a dumb movie with dumb protagonists. But, so the, you don't get to see the battle between vampires and werewolves and whatnot. I mean, you get to see some picks, but it mostly revolves around the three going camping and... Yeah, okay. That seems like a pretty dumb plan, you know, masking her scent, but for some reason they can't mask Edwards and whatnot. But yeah, and it honestly it did seem hard. That one story about the um, and uh, honestly, this story arc about her and her past <laughs> seemed a whole lot more interesting than the main story. Sa same for the one that took place way back when the native spirit warriors were fighting vampires and whatnot. But yeah, pretty dumb plan for her to stab herself and <laughs> kill herself. But yeah, whatever. Maybe there's more and more to it. Probably is. If you haven't seen my other Twilight Pitch meetings, I have not seen the movies. I've only, you know, seen, seen videos that mark these movies. <laughs> but anyway, what do you guys think? Write that touch down below. Hope you enjoyed my next video. Comment, like, subscribe if you want. And I will see you in another video.